To get started installing the Watts UV3 water treatment system, you'll need a few simple tools. A tubing cutter or sturdy pair of shears, a variable speed drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, an adjustable wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. Some sinks have a pre-drilled hole that is suitable for the installation of a drinking water faucet. If your sink or countertop does not, you'll require a half inch hole to install this faucet. If your countertop is a solid surface like marble or porcelain, Watts recommends hiring a licensed contractor to avoid potential damage. Before beginning, determine the proper placement of the black locating washer. This can be installed one of two ways. If the hole is one half inch, the flat side will face up. If using a one and a quarter or one and a half inch hole, the raised side will be up. For this video, we are using a pre-drilled one and a half inch hole. So the locating washer will be installed with the raised side up. The first step is to place the small rubber washer on the threaded stem, then follow with the escutcheon plate and large rubber washer. Next, insert the threaded stem through the hole in the sink and let it rest on the sink top. Next, from the underside of the sink, slide on the black locating washer, lock washer, and nut onto the threaded stem. Check the orientation of the faucet and tighten the nut securely. Next, locate the blue quarter inch tube attached to the quick connect elbow above the housing labeled carbon block pre-filter. Remove a brass nut, plastic delrin sleeve, and plastic insert from the faucet parts bag and place the brass nut with the open end out on the blue tube. Then take the plastic sleeve and slide it over the same tube. Once you have done so, you can then push the plastic insert all the way into the end of the tube. Push this assembly into the base of the threaded stem until it stops. Slide the compression nut and plastic sleeve up until you can thread the nut onto the faucet stem. After hand tightening, use a wrench to securely tighten the compression nut while continuing to hold the tube in place. After installing the faucet, you are going to install the adaptive valve. Now, as an important note, you must install this on the cold water side. If you install on the hot water side, you will damage the system and void any warranty. The first step is to turn off your cold water supply at the supply stop, typically the knob on the right hand side here. Be sure to place a small bowl underneath the angle stop to catch any water runoff when disconnecting the kitchen faucet hose. Once turned off, you'll want to turn on your cold water faucet to drain and depressurize the plumbing system. When the faucet stops dripping, you may close the faucet. Then you'll disconnect the kitchen faucet hose from the cold water supply stop. The adaptive valve works with kitchen faucet connections that use a 3 8 inch or half inch compression connection. If your supply stop uses a 3 8 inch connection, Start by inserting the white rubber washer into the washerless brass adapter. Insert the adapter and washer into the female threaded end of the adaptive valve and hand tighten. Then, attach the adapter with a black washer to the male threaded end of the adaptive valve like this. Tighten with a wrench until secure, but do not over tighten. Next, attach this assembly to the male end of the cold water supply stop and tighten with a wrench. Lastly, you will connect the supply line from the faucet to the male threaded end of the adaptive valve. Use a crescent wrench and take care to not over tighten. To install using a half inch connection, the brass adapter pieces are not required. Do not open the angle stop at this time. If the tubing is excessively long, you can trim with a tubing cutter or shears, taking care to make a straight cut. Before cutting any tubing shorter, Determine your desired mounting location and make sure that you leave enough tubing length to dismount the system to perform any required maintenance. Take the other end of the green tube and securely push it into the quick connect fitting on the adaptive valve. Make sure tube connections are pushed in all the way to the tube stop. Now you're going to mount the system to your kitchen cabinet, allowing several inches of clearance below the filter for easy removal and replacement. To determine your mounting location, Raise the system up two or three inches from the cabinet bottom and use a pencil to mark the eyelet locations in the bracket. 
Set the system aside and drill 1 8 inch pilot holes for the mounting screws. Using a Phillips head screwdriver or electric drill, install your mounting screws. Leave a 3 8 inch gap to allow the bracket to fit between the screw heads and the cabinet wall. Lift the system into place. Once the system is completely connected, turn on the cold water at the supply stop. Then turn your drinking water faucet handle to the open position to purge the air and allow water to flow through your system. You're going to run approximately three gallons of water to flush out all the air and carbon fines from the system, which you'll know is flushed out when the water turns from gray to clear. A container with a known volume may be used to help determine how much water has passed through the system. Close the faucet when finished and then check for leaks frequently over the next 24 hours. If you have any leaks, you can either tighten for threaded fittings or push to secure for quick connect fittings and recheck. Lastly, plug the transformer power cord connector into the UV module wire harness connector and plug the transformer into an electrical outlet. The white UV end cap will light up when in service. The system requires a warm-up period for proper operation. Wait 20 minutes after plugging in the system before drinking the water. Enjoy your clean, safe, great tasting water and visit us at PremierH2O.com to subscribe for special offers and register your new system.